Hi guys, happy Tuesday, it's my day off. A few of you have asked and it just so happens that I am gonna be spending the day over in Sonoma County in one of my favorite places to just kind of take a breather, relax and have a little adventure. So I'm gonna be going to Healdsburg today, spending the whole day there and taking you around to some of my favorite places. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Let's go. I'm here in Healdsburg. <laughs> so this place is really cool. It's actually on a square. It's incredibly walkable. There's so much to do here. There are places to taste wine. There's restaurants. There's places to get coffee. It's just an amazing place to just kind of come and relax. So we're gonna go to this first spot here. It's one of my favorite spots to hang out. I'm gonna grab a coffee from Shed. place has like the best gifts so I'm always looking for something interesting. I always like to have things in the top of my mind in case I need something fun to get someone but you can also eat here. They have a great pre-prepared section. You can have lunch here, you can have coffee, they have a kombucha bar. It's a pretty cool little hipster spot. Today I'm just getting some coffee but normally I like to pick up some things like Hudson olive oil. Always delicious. Oh the wine selection is really good here. You want to see? A couple of really great Pinot Noirs. There's some great whites. The Ryan Vermentino, one of my favorites. I just kind of like this place. It's kind of fun to just grab coffee and walk around and see what they have. And eat here. You don't have to eat here. Just enjoy it. Mmm, Dahlia's. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm always hungry. But it's like 95 degrees, so I think uh, I think seafood is definitely the right move for me today. So no better place to get seafood than Willie's Seafood and Raw Bar right here. Let's go. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me, baby. These are the two bottles and two chicokas. Oh yeah, so the weather's hot. I think that calls for a cucumber martini, don't you? This is really delicious and I'm really excited to pair it with some oysters because that really is the proper pairing. If you're not gonna do wine, you should totally have like a cucumber martini, something nice and mineral driven, a little bit of vegetable, a little bit of sweet to go with a, a nice oyster. When it comes to oysters, I'm a bit of a purist. I really only like lemon juice on them. I like the, the taste of the oyster really come through. I think putting sauces on it kind of covers everything up, but I'm curious, what do you guys think? Are you more horseradish, are you more cocktail sauce, or are you like a mignonette kind of person? Let me know, tell me in the comments, I'm curious. Oh God, this is exactly what I needed. The hamachi ceviche looks really good, so uh, I move the oysters to that. I had some of the most amazing ceviche when I was in Lima in January. Broth is my favorite part. This is called the leche de tigre. Everyone's is different. This is a little bit spicy, it's a little bit nutty, a little bit more like vinegar, but it's what makes ceviche different from somebody else's. This is really delicious. I think the cucumber martini with all of this is totally the right I have a bit of an addiction when it comes to ordering food, like I can't stop. I see something and I want it, even though I'm not really hungry and I shouldn't have it, I just, I just keep going. Whoops. More food has arrived. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's the perfect kind of lobster roll because it doesn't have like too much mayonnaise, it doesn't have too much butter, you can actually taste the lobster. And the roll is like so soft and delicate. We're finishing out the food portion, well, this food portion of the adventure. Because you know there's gonna be more food later. The fish taco, I always, you know when there's fish tacos in the menu, I have to try fish tacos. It's like one of my favorite foods on the planet, just like tacos in general. I'm trying to give this a shot, it's a seafood place. It's gotta be good, right? Got sauce. I have to tell you, this whole thing, this cucumber martini has been like the perfect pairing. I'm doing a terrible job finishing it as usual, but it's really, really delicious and it just kind of goes perfectly with all the food. Well done. I think in this in this situation, I always choose things like beer, cocktails, something clean and refreshing over wine. It just, there's a lot of flavors going on here. Definitely more like Spanish, South American inspired flavors. Things with lime, things with cucumber, things that have freshness, lift about them are definitely gonna pair well. 
job now. A vino verde, that works every time. Definitely had my fill for savory food, but it's still kind of early, so I feel like uh, I should take you guys around the square a little bit. You guys can see Hillsburg, and it's a really cool place. I hang out here a lot. I think it's time for another cocktail, even though I only <laughs> finished like half of this one. <laughs> I am full. I think I'm gonna walk around, try to hunk <laughs> all this food up. That was a lot of food. Don't eat that much, future Amanda. Don't do that. Stop doing that to yourself. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, it was delicious. I need to not order the whole menu. It's just like out of control. So I'm gonna go take a little walk around. This town is awesome. It's it's on a square. It's incredibly walkable. If you are looking to do something other than Napa, if you're looking to be in Sonoma, I highly recommend doing Healdsburg. It's a really cool town with tons of shops, tons of tasting rooms, restaurants, coffee bars, dessert shops hotels, I mean, you name it, this place is amazing. And they also have one of the uh, the new really high-end restaurants here called Single Fred uh, that I ate at a few months ago. It's really amazing. It, it's on track to become one of the great two or three-star Michelin restaurants in the Bay Area. This so. town has really evolved into something pretty special and I'm happy about that. I think this is a really cool place to be and lots of things going on here. It's, everyone's welcome. It's a very inclusive town. It doesn't feel too hipster. It doesn't feel too proper. It's just kind of really relaxing. So, anyway, I'm going to take a stroll because I, I need to walk this off. This place is like my favorite cocktails in all of California. They never get it wrong. I swear to God, I've, I've had all of their cocktails and they're all amazing. Kills me every time. This is Duke's Spirited. I'm about to get a peach cobbler cocktail. I don't know how they do it without making it so sweet, but it's delicious. Peach cobbler cocktail to finish out this magical day. Amen. My final stop on this food journey in Hillsburg begins with dessert. And I think that's an appropriate end. So I never leave Healdsburg, or I should say rarely leave Healdsburg without getting a little bit of Noble Folk ice cream and pie. And I appreciate Noble Folk for knowing that pie and ice cream are just one of life's delicacies that shouldn't be missed. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead, go and catch me, baby. Ooh. So I'm eating a salted caramel mud pie with salted caramel ice cream, and uh, yeah, I don't really want to wait any longer to eat this, so uh, I'm gonna say good night, and I'm gonna say goodbye, and I'll see you all tomorrow. It's been really fun hanging out with you, but it's pie time, so check you later. I think my car is real good. Okay, for real, see you guys later. Yeah,